Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dylan and today we're going to use easel to create a volunteer firefighter flag. All right, first we're going to open our SVG file for the flag. Once you have the SVG file uploaded for the flag, we're going to then upload the SVG for the firefighter emblem. Once we have that uploaded, we're going to create a duplicate copy. Command C and Command V or Control C and V. And we're going to use the offsetter app inside of Easel. We're going to set an offset to 0.5 and we're going to delete the original. Once we have that deleted, we're going to drag the profile of it out away from the excess parts. We're going to then delete the excess parts and bring the profile back into view. Once we have that set, we're going to set the profile all the way to the back. We're going to drag the firefighter emblem and center it on the outside profile view. I'm going to change the cut to 0.05. Then we're going to take the back and bring it to zero, and then that will create a border. That border will basically be an invisible border that will then inlay over the flag and create a space where the CNC will not carve. Just going to make sure that all the stripes are at a 0.1 depth. That's what I like to stick to. It usually works pretty decently for carving flags. After that, I'm going to highlight the stars and I'm going to change those to a 0.25 depth. Uh, you can go deeper with a 90 degree V bit, it will not cut through the thickness of your material. I just like to keep it at 0.25. So I select my bits, I'm using a quarter inch down cut bit and a 90 degree V bit. I have a 150 CNC machine so I like to keep my speeds somewhat fast. I can go a whole lot faster than 100 inches a minute for the roughing pass and 150 for the detail. Uh, it really depends on your machine. Uh, these are very basic feed rates to start off with. Once I have that done, I'll uh, view a preview. I'll change the wood over to a different type. Uh, I like to use a uh, HDP two-part so that you can see the differentiation and the detail. Uh, it's not the actual piece that I'm carving on. I usually carve on pine, but this allows me to get a, an accurate representation of what the overall flag is going to look like. Just zooming in to verify that the details look correct. And I like to center it on the corner all the way down at the middle and then when I upload it to my CNC, I'll zero my coordinates off of the center location of the piece of wood that I'm using. Now that we've got all that set, we can go to Project and we can download the Roughing Pass G code. It'll take a little bit to simulate and download the Detail Pass. And that's all there is to creating a volunteer firefighter flag using Easel. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give us a subscribe and stay on the lookout for more videos.